what's up this is rick dog force five records checking in with groove.tv here to interview the drp about his new single heroin drp how the fuck you doing tonight i'm doing good i hate you but i'm doing good oh wow just the right one yes it is <laughs> how about you tell us uh, about your new single heroin what's the vibe how to come about what's going on well as you know and as many people know that uh know me Pretty much addicted to heroin and cocaine. Spent three or four years in a drug-induced coma. And uh, when I got out of that, got my life back together. I uh, didn't think I'd get back into music, but uh, here I am. But um, I was writing this. I was writing a, an acoustic riff. I was getting out of rehab and stuff like that. And uh, I started writing this acoustic riff, and then I brought it to actually to this studio at Mad Science Audio Labs with my boy Kyle. And um, Basically, I had the riff, and I was like, Kyle, I got this idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down, put this down on, you know, a track, and let's see what we can expand from it. So the, the initial riff that you hear at the beginning of the song, I started bringing that down, started playing it, and then Kyle started like adding drums to it and a bass, and we just kept uh, adding to it. You know what I mean? And then eventually we got uh, my DJ, DJ Shemp, cut into it and made this like chorus to it. And then we brought in another guitar player, it's a much better guitar player than me, to do the leads over it, named Timmy. And um, basically from there, between me and Kyle, we just mixed it and it became this thing. I already had the lyrics for it and stuff like that, so it's, it became, you know, the single. And it, it's a super important song to me because obviously everything I went through, and uh, it's kind of like it's getting those demons out of me, you know what I mean? It's hero win, like hero wins, but it's spelled, you know what I mean, like hero win. But it's about heroin and you know the drugs and addiction. So, yes, sir. So, Afi, how often are you working on music? Well, basically, every single day of my life, I'm working on music. I'm in the studio a couple days a week. That sounds really cheesy. Yeah. How often are you really working? On music? I'm working on music in my head right now while I'm talking to you. <laughs> You're boring the shit out of me, but music in my head is not boring. So, I'm working on, right now. I got a riff called "Rick Dog Sucks Ass." Rick Dog, it's it, Luke's gonna sing it from Two Life Crew though. It's gonna, okay. Rick Dog, success. Better get my point on. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on now? Right now, um, Suburban Noise Records, uh, Spade S R H, and Force Five Records hooked up, teamed up for Saint Dog's new record, Bozo. We finished that shit, which we tracked a lot of it and mixed it here. Um, working on that with them. Working on. The DRP CD. We got Mars and Danny Diablo, Scarhead, Crown of Thorns. You guys gotta know Danny Diablo, the hardcore world. Him and Mars are working on a CD that we're actually working on here. It's got Slain from La Coca Nostra on it. Um, shit, everybody from MNE. MNE. It's uh, G Moski. It's uh, Lex the Hexmaster. It's Gorilla Voltage. Shit, there's a there's a ton of people. We got Vinny Pass from Jedi Mind Tricks. So it's rock and metal world, you know, mixed together with horrorcore. Uh, we, we got a bunch of artists on the label right now. Like we're doing a million things. Me and Rick Dog are working on a country rap album, a la like Yellow Wolf type shit. So I hate him, but we write well together, and I guess we drink well together. So I'll drink to that. Cheers. <laughs> so what are your biggest? Let's not even say music influences, but like life influences. What am I? Who lifts you? Like music wise or? It's music, life. I'm, music is your life. So well, I mean, yeah. Uh, who's your biggest influences? Biggest influences, my mom and dad. And uh, your mom. Dang. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just kidding. Shots fired. Uh, <laughs> Neil Young is my favorite influence of all time. And Mike Muir from Suicidal Tendencies. So, and Cypress Hill. And... Really anything. <laughs> Music. Neil Young. Yeah, fuck yeah, Neil Young. Johnny Cash. You say the same thing. They're both fucking great. It's every time I hear Neil Young, I think Leonard scared and <laughs> Southern man. <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> uh, on that topic, mm -hmm. what would you rather have? Peace or freedom? Uh um Well, I'd like peace. From not hearing Rick Dog's voice again, but I will choose freedom over peace. You want to know why? Why? Because
Because without freedom, how can you have peace? D. Next question. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can have freedom without peace. Yeah, you need freedom to have peace, man. No okay, peace right. without justice. Yeah, no justice, no peace. <laughs> all right, what's the wackest band out there right now besides the DRP? Nickelback. Uh, you guys may be cool, but fuck Nickelback. <laughs> That's it? Uh, yeah. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know. I know we're pine- pounding heinies right now. No, we're drinking Force 5 Records. Brand Waters. Beverages. Yeah. Would you rather have a uh, Stella or a Guinness? I, I would rather have a. Anyone that knows me. Would you rather turn your phone off right now? <laughs> anyone that knows me, if you come to City Lounge in Wisconsin and cut a Wisconsin, I'm having a Stella and a Jameson. So, I like Guinness, but fuck it, I have a Stella and a Jameson. Can't have just Guinness and Jamo. That I'm not Irish or Scottish. Fuck the Scots. Whoa. Hey. No, those, those are shots fired. <laughs> How much money would it take right now for you to quit music? No amount of money. Because I got like at least four digits in the bank right now. (laughs) How much (laughs) money do I have to give you for you to stop making music? I never really started. Uh, All right. (laughs) (laughs) Next question. question. (laughs) All right. So in like 20 years, you're probably going to look back at your hair. Maybe your lack of facial hair. Wait. Yeah. what, what what are your children gonna think? Well, what are you gonna think? In the early '90s, I had a tail, and I think it's like funny. A rat tail? I had a rat tail, yeah. a long one, all the way down oh. to here. You got cheating right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had a tail too, didn't you? I think, uh, every Midwest white boy had a fucking <laughs> rat tail. And then I actually had a step. I swear to God, I had the step. And with bibs, I had the step and the bibs, like kid and play. Yo, they, someone's got a picture of that shit. Right so, I don't regret none of it. Fuck that. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright, next next question! Uh, what's your top five favorite albums of all time? Alright. New Young, Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere. Cypress Hills, debut album. Anything from Slayer, anything from Suicidal Tendencies. I don't give a fuck what album it is. I will listen to it. Nirvana's never mind. Nothing from Rick Dog. He doesn't have an album. Right. Yes. I have a movie with your mom though. Ew. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, shit. What pisses you off the most besides me? <laughs> Nickelback and Rick Dog and people that me. don't appreciate real fucking music and real artists. Not everything that you see. Social media influencers should not be doing music, but you see that shit all the time. It drives me fucking nuts. Real artists suffer for their art. It's always been that way. Keep doing it that way. I don't know how else to explain it. And Rick Dog, fuck that. Is there any more questions? <laughs> Is that it? Uh, I think I got one more for you. Yeah. Would you rather suck your dad's dick or go down on your mom? <laughs> Next question! <laughs> Four five records, bitch. Groovy.tv, thank you, I appreciate it. The DRPs, heroin, check it out. Force five records. Ruckus! What do you say?